He's the richest man in Dubai. And this was kind of my claim to fame, I guess, so to speak. So I treated a guy named Mohammed Alibar. And so he had this shoulder issue for like 20 years. And so they did cortisone, didn't work. They said, okay, just do physio because there's nothing else to do. And then we got connected with Jordan. And so he flew me down and then we did an ultrasound. We found some small tears and then we fixed it with the regenerative stuff. And he was just like blown away. But to be clear, this is not just pain relief. This is actually- No, it's, it's perfect. Yeah. He's good. He's still good. Typically use exosomes or stem cells or PRP. And we mix it with peptides and work with the stem cells to facilitate healing and regeneration. Why is this not on the cover of every magazine, yeah, no, every news exactly, outlet? Because exactly. this is like... I was reading a paper just two weeks ago. It's published. It literally made the girl walk again. Imagine if that was a pharmaceutical. It would be on every headline. Is that is why? Because we can't fucking patent it in one company? Exactly. Wow. We yeah. were talking about peptides. You said there's a new technology. You said it was okay. I could bring it up. You guys have a technology where you inject it once and then it tells your body to produce? It's the world's first reversible plasmid gene therapy. And anytime you're disrupting an industry, people are going to come after you. There's already negative press.